Are you using VS Code for your day-to-day -day activity? This particular video might be helpful for you to identify what are the different tips and tricks which are there in the VS Code which you can leverage when you are using the IDE. If let's say you are not using the VS Code, take a look at these tips and tricks and see if it makes sense and if you can use this particular IDE for any of your web development or any of your development activity. Let's get started. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. Visual Studio Code is an IDE which is created by Microsoft with the vision of open source in mind. Yes, you read it right. It's open source. So this particular IDE is completely open source and it is not the Microsoft Visual Studio which we used to use but this is a completely revamped open source Microsoft Visual Studio code. That is why it is called the VS code or the Visual Studio code. Right? In my previous videos, you would have seen uh, some uh, mentions about the Visual Studio code where you can use Visual Studio code. In this particular video, I'm going to use a small Java project and I'm going to show you some tips and tricks we can use across this particular Visual Studio code as a start. The first and the foremost thing what we uh, do is we search for files right when you open an id so i have a um, java project which i have opened in this particular id and if you see here this is visual studio code right the if you see i'll just minimize it and show you guys so this is how the id looks like there is nothing like there is nothing literally isn't it i'll just maximize it again just to be sure with the distraction mode right if you notice here there is nothing else lots of things are based on config files and shortcuts right let's say i want to search for a file i need to do the command p option right in order to search for files so for example here i have a file called search query builder right i can just search like how i do for any other ide and then i can just open it once i open the file if you notice here this particular ide identified that okay this is the java file okay and it is showing you some recommendations of different plugins which you can use for this file so basically these are called extensions so everything is based on extensions. so what microsoft did is they created the framework or the baseline of the id and they asked developers to create extensions over it so if you want to do something you can create extensions and you can use those ex extensions so for example by default this is using the extension called the language support right the language support for java so this also is an extension which is created by visual studio uh, uh, studio and they have integrated it with the ide itself so uh, i install this particular um, um, extension that is why you are able to see that okay this is a java file and i am able to recognize this particular file right so if i open the file again let me open the file again right so i'll just close this for distraction right I'll just close this as well right so this is the file right this looks like any other id it looks like a sublime text version of uh, an id that is how it looks like right there are some other options which are here so the first option is the language support if you click on this it identifies what type of file it is and you can change it as well so let's say this is not a do uh, java file and if that is a c++ file you can just go and choose that particular option so you still have the option to select the language mode based on your wish right so and you see the different support uh, for different languages so you see that right almost every language is supported in this particular id the major um, support for this is uh, typescript and the javascript because it's extremely good when you write typescript and javascript code but i'm going to show you some java code because one of the viewer had requested uh, to show me how to create the getters and setters right so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to write a getter uh, just i'm just going to write a getter and setter so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use the um, intellisense inside the vs code and show how easy it is for you to create some getters and setters right so i'm just creating a variable here in order to create some getters and setters in intellij or eclipse what we used to do is we used to create a, we used to click a shortcut and that used to show what type of code you want to generate 
however you don't have to do anything in vs code you just say get name right this is going to suggest you a particular option so if you see here this is the intelligence with vs code is suggesting and if i select that option it is going to create me a getter for me same way for the setter if i just say set and it is going to show me the set name right and you can modify this comment or you can even remove this comment but yeah this is how you can auto generate the code inside vs code right so this is one way of automating or regenerating code or generating code from intelli uh, from the vs code right so intellij has a different option or a different way of doing it vs code has its own way of doing stuff so everything is integrated inside the intellisense itself right not only for the java you have lots of uh, stuff for javascript as well right now i don't think i have a javascript file but yeah um, i can show that if you need right and if you notice here this is just the um, this is just the git project so this is a great project so it shows up the git options for me right there is something called feedback right so there is the smiley in the right corner the right hand corner where you can give feedback directly to the team which is developing this particular id and you can even tweet that so this is a good way of getting their feedback and you can even create a request for adding new features so for example if you want to have some specific feature which you want to add it to visual studio code you can request that from this particular window right and also you if there is a bug you can report that as well so this internally creates a bug jira or a feature jira based on the type of request right so that is another option so let's come to some shortcuts right so let's say i don't want to save this file so the main shortcut which we will be using most of the time is command shift p right so this is going to be the shortcut with which you can search anything inside the id so this is similar to the double shift or the um, uh, double shift option inside intellij here you can um, uh, double shift or the control shift a i think there right so here you use the command shift and p where you can search for anything let's say i want to go to the settings window i, I just say settings and i just say open the workspace settings the other thing which you notice that there is no additional window opened here everything is inside a editor so it, it's all just the editor if you see here this is nothing but a workspace setting it doesn't even look like a settings window right yes it is not a settings window it is all driven based on json files so the whole id is settings is all based on json file so if you want to override something you can just override that particular feature here so if you want to override the file dot auto save option you just say auto save as on right i want to let's say enable the auto save i can do that here so the one which is in the right side is the overridden files the one which is in the left side is the file which which is there by default so not only that any other option so it's if you start typing it the intelligence inside the vs code will suggest you what type of config you need to override so if you see here i just typed edi it is going to suggest me all the list of properties which are having edi as a start right so that is pretty good the intelligence is pretty nice right so that is one way of saving options so let's say i want to open a file i use i need the command p option where i can just open the file which i showed previously so let's say i open another file now i want to see another file and i want to split this particular window right so there is this option where you can do that so you can search for another file and that gets loaded there right so you can have two files you can compare these two files in parallel right so that is this particular option okay apart from that um, there is an option for us to see the terminal so terminal integration inside an id is the latest thing right if you see intellij intellij also has the uh, terminal embedded inside the id because you don't have to get distracted when you want to run some manual commands or when you want to run some command from your command prompt right so that is why these ids are coming up with these terminal options where you can integrate your terminal inside your id itself so the shortcut for that is command tilde right so when i click on that you get a terminal here so this is nothing but the normal terminal which we use right so you see that okay this is nothing but the 
terminal where my project is there so this is the project so nothing else I can just do all the commands I do right so I can use as maven clean install I can just start running uh, commands here so if you are using any node.js project you can do that or if you want to do any manual step you can do that from this terminal the shortcut for that is control and then the tilde symbol right the one of the major uh, major um, advantages of the visual studio code is the extension so anything which is missing inside uh, the id will be in the extension right so if you want to change the color of the id you can go and install an extension so there are lots of extensions if you want to say let's say add some plugins for cucumber you can do that you want to say add plugins for uh, the node modules you can add that so for example let's say i say theme right i say theme and i click on the search option i, I just hit the enter button this is going to return me bunch of themes see these are the different themes so for example material icon theme the atom icon theme so these are different themes which are the plugins which you can use for the installation and usage right so whatever you want you can install or you can even customize so even inside the theme you can there are some themes which are customizable you can use them and then you can customize like how we um, customize the settings right we just had uh, the properties enabled we switched it off and switched it on you can do the same with any particular theme right and if you don't know anything always go to command shift p right this is where you go and type anything you want you can do it the recent one shows up in the top and you can type whatever you want so let's say you want to see the history you want to see the history you can just say open previous editor from history so this shows the uh, last file which we opened right so you want to see you want to remove this particular file you can do that right same way i'll show you some other option so there is something called zen mode okay so zen mode is nothing but the distraction free mode so in intellij we do have this so here it is called zen mode so you just say zen mode and then all these additional windows the get windows the get status bar everything vanish away vanishes away okay so if you want to get back to the um, original window you just hit the same shortcut command shift and p and then you say views in mode it just goes out of the zen mode right so that is nothing but a presentation mode or a distraction free mode where you can use it when you are extensively um, concentrated on only typing and you don't want to get distracted with the different options which are there outside right so that is one more um, shortcut or the um, tip right which you can use the, the uh, version control option shows the different version controls like say, similar to how we have in IntelliJ right you can see what are the different files which got deleted or added or something like that right I'll just close this so the other um, uh, feature of um, vs code is there are something called tasks so you can have task runner so what we can do is you can just hit the same con command shift p right and you say task right when you click on task you have different options of running the task or configuring a task so for example if i want to configure a task i can create a task so it creates something called tasks.json and you can decide what type of task you want to run see this is like a once i hit the um, configure task option it asked me whether i want the task.json to be created i said yes and then now it's asking me what type of build it is whether it is a microsoft build or it's a dotnet core build or is there any other additional build so i'm going to say maven build if i click on the maven it automatically identifies what type of um, maven build i need and then it automatically creates these tasks so if you see here it has created the task called verify and inside the verify the command for the verify is maven hyphen b verify and the next one is the test the the next task is test so it runs the maven test right so if i go to the same option right so if i say just task right i just say task space what is the test yeah run the test task so this is going to run the test task so this will run the test so if you notice here the task which is configured as test gets triggered okay same way if you want to run the verify task you can do that as well 
right i can hit the task verify i just need to say run task right and when i say the run task you see the different options the test and the verify if i say verify this is going to trigger the uh, verify verify task verify task right whichever we created and you can create bunch of uh, these tasks uh, for different task runner like you want to run for npm you want to run for typescript or java or anything else or the dotnet frameworks etc or even the batch files you can do that so you just have to create a task.json and then you embed the different type of um, script you want to run this is basically just a configuration of your uh, command which you're going to run to a specific task name and you can just run that particular task directly so internally the vs code will take care of running that with this particular um, json file right the other option is just the search um, uh, the, you can just uh, do the normal search you can just search for files you just search for plugin you can do that here right so this is going to search across the files so for example i just search for build and it is just searching across files and giving me the result right so there are lots of features i i'm i, I won't be able to show you every feature but everything is all is all inside the extension so the major power of vs code is all extensions you think of a uh, feature it will be in the extension if it is not there you can obviously request um, the visual studio community um, so they will be able to add that for you depending on the priority which they have but most probably most of them are there in the extension because these extensions are created by people and verified by vs code so don't hesitate to just search for a particular feature there first and then request for it right there are lots of plugins here see it, it's not like your windows mobile right don't think it as a windows mobile where you don't have any apps you don't have any flexibility for developers but since this is the open source uh, ide lots of people have developed lots of plugins and they are pretty good so believe me it is all great so you can have doc you have docker files you have cloud foundry file you have npm you have like the validations for the javascript the lens etc right so you can try this out if you are using uh, javascript or the angular extensively and you don't have an ultimate edition uh, of uh, intellij you can definitely use visual studio code because it is equivalent to the ultimate edition of um, intellij um, which is not exactly replacing intellij but uh, it provides uh, pretty good features and you can use it as your daily driver right i hope uh, you guys uh, found it interesting if you are using visual studio code i hope you found something new if you are not using visual studio code i i hope you found something interesting and you can uh, start off by um, checking visual studio code if you are interested right do share this particular video if you feel that this is useful for somebody else if you like the video go ahead and like it if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much